All right, y'all. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today is mon uh, Monday, April first, and uh, we got our first order. Doing a dispatch order. Pick it up from PPG. All right, y'all. So this is my uh, my first time with the uh, the new floor. Just got my new floor. Uh, and uh, this is my first time testing it out. So I will uh, give it a review after today and give you my honest opinion about it. So this order is, uh, I'm picking up 112 items. I'm thinking it's gonna be caulking or something like that. And uh, I'm driving 10 miles to the delivery. So this delivery, I've actually done it before and the nav does not take you to the right location. So again, it's always good to remember certain stops. So I know where to go uh, because if I follow the nav, it's gonna take me to the wrong location. Mercedes? No, this is a uh, Ford Transit. Yeah, that's nice, bro. Thank you. Very nice. Yeah, this upgrade. I have a smaller one. It's got the big one now. Bigger van. Hardly ever see any of the, any of the nice no, trucks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Let me get you your paperwork. Okay. All right, y'all. All loaded up. Uh, 20 cans, five gallon cans, and some uh, materials. Uh, so far, I love the floor. Everything slides perfect. I'm actually kind of, kind of nervous, man, because I know this floor is going to get scratched up. It's not gonna look like this very long, but man, I'm all like trying to be be soft with it. <laughs> but I gotta understand this floor is meant to be broken in, and uh, it's gonna get scratched up and all that stuff. But nice while it lasts. So so far, I love it. No issues. All right, y'all, getting close to the drop off. Uh, if I remember correctly. There's some apartments to the right. Uh, that's where the nav takes you, but that is not the correct apartment. There's a couple apartments with the same name called uh, Westover Hills. So yeah, these right here, this is where my nav took me last time and this was not the correct location. So it took forever to figure out where to go. And uh, I did an adjustment. I never got any uh, response from my adjustment. I've done two adjustments with dispatch so far for the wait time. And uh, I've never, never got anything. Never got a response, never got anything. So I don't know if that stuff works. Um, actually, I can't believe I'm saying this. I actually like Dolly better because Dolly, you can actually call somebody and uh, they'll, they every time I've had an issue, pick up or drop off, they have given me the extra money right then and there. Like you don't have to wait. <laughs> so anyways, uh, there's going to be some apartments straight ahead. This is the actual location, but the nav will not take you here. All right, y'all. So, uh, should be a little opening up here. And this is where we're going. Um, uh, I remember where the drop off was, but I'm still going to call just to make sure that they, they want the paint at the same place. So I'm gonna call uh I'm gonna call the painter right now. Alright, 
right, y'all. So I just called the uh, customer. He did not answer. Uh, I called him twice, actually. And I just sent him a message uh, asking if he wants to paint at the same place or a different building. So anyways, I'm going to head to where I dropped it off last time. And I am not waiting around. Last time, it took me like 40 minutes to do this delivery. Actually, no, here he is right here. Hello. Hello. All right, uh, this is Chris. I'm delivering paint for you at the Westover Hills Apartments. Westover Hills? Yeah, the one off the 151. Yeah, yeah. The, um, do you want the uh, paint yeah. the same place as last time or a different building? Uh, yeah, can you go to building seven? Building seven? All right, down the hill? Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm headed there now. All right, thank you. All right. Okay. Bye. All right. Bye. Bye. All right, yeah, I was just about to say, man, I'm not playing games this time. Last time I waited like 40 minutes uh, to find, well, it took like 40 minutes to find this place. And then when I got here, I still couldn't get a hold of nobody to figure out where to dump the paint. So I did an adjustment for that and never got anything. So uh, I don't play games, man. I ain't waiting around. I'm at the right location and uh, I'll leave them a text. Say, hey, I left it that building, whatever. They, they got pickup trucks. They can pick it up. So anyways. Let's get this dropped off. Man, it's uh, apartments everywhere in San Antonio. Like, ridiculous. All right, y'all, so this is building seven. Uh, one thing I started doing, so I'm gonna back up to right here because it's the garage I put the paint. Uh, I get out and I look, there's like nails everywhere. So, I do have a, uh, insurance on my tires and all that but i do not want to get a flat tire see right there it's a lot of nails like that so i try to like i need to uh keep a broom a broom in the back of my uh, van um but yeah man i'll try to clear out as much as i can before i back up but yeah see like nails like this they're everywhere so i think that's good enough hopefully i don't catch a nail seven minutes to unload this um my fan look at my floor so my feet man they muddy it's a lot of mud right here i think it rained last night so i got my footprints all right here and all up in my van it looks horrible but gotta deal with it man i know i can't keep it clean but i am gonna clean it when i get home because spent about 1400 on this we're gonna make it last as long as we can <laughs> all right man so i stopped at the gas station i don't need gas but uh i'm gonna grab a snack and uh, this is so annoying to me look what i'm doing y'all this is what i'm about to do right now let me see how this works this is a uh, some cheap some cheap rags I bought from uh, Walmart a long time ago. Oh yeah, it's getting it up. It's getting it up, y'all. Oh yeah, there we go. I'm feeling better, man. I feel I felt like a little sick. It's crazy. With this floor duty, you had me feeling a little sick. I'm like, let me clean this up, man. This is annoying. Can't have it looking like this the first week. So that's what I'm about to do, man. I'm about to get all this up. 
<clears throat> all right y'all i feel so much better man this ain't spotless but it's way better than it looked so i literally just use these two little yellow rags uh to wet the floor um this floor is actually water resistant so it was like puddling up um so it's pretty cool i like the floor man i really do so i didn't uh mess with the bumper i don't really care about that but just wiped the plate down and uh i was on my hands and knees back here scrubbing y'all i don't know what's wrong with me i'm sure i'll get over it but yeah you know, this thing ain't even a week man i don't want it to get dirty i don't want it to scratch a few moments later all right y'all so a miracle happened this is my very first time doing a curry delivery so i actually signed up for curry um, at first, I tried to get on Curry for months and I never could get on. I finally got on and Curry is not active in San Antonio. They're active in Dallas and Austin, a couple other areas. So uh, recently I ran into a buddy who was doing a Curry order and he told me that uh, Curry is now getting more active in San Antonio. So I had actually uninstalled the app because it just I wasn't getting nothing. So I've been getting Curry orders and i kind of don't like it because you you kind of bid on the order i kind of don't like the bidding the way they do it uh it pretty much goes to the lowest bidder uh the order came out i want to say it was like 52 or 54 dollars i said i'll do it for 70. Uh, it's 18 miles and i can't believe it i got it i had put in for bids before uh, i never put in for the amount that they give you because that's like the lowest i'm surprised i want it so we about to do it. This is my very first curry. I have no idea what I'm doing. So we on the way. All right, y'all getting close to the uh, pickup. Uh, it's only about a 12 mile drive. I think I've been here before too, the place I'm going to. So uh, based on what I read, I'm picking up uh, some laundry detergent, but they're like a hundred pounds each. So I don't know if it's, some stuff that's on a pallet or or what i'm not sure but we'll see i'm going right here to this uh ferguson building which i think i think i've been here before a couple times Alright y'all, so it's just these uh <clears throat> it's just these two pails of uh laundry detergent. So getting $70 to drive 18 miles. This is my very first very first curry order. So I have to say so far, I'm pleased with it. The app is pretty simple. Uh navigation, everything, all the instructions is there. No issue so far. So let's go get this dropped off. Usually the drop off, that's when you always have an issue. <laughs> so we'll see how smooth this goes. All right, y'all, that was my bad. I made a mistake. <laughs> so I was 18 miles from the pickup. I thought that was the delivery. So I'm actually driving 30 miles. So I'm driving 30 miles to the drop off, but uh, it's still, I still would have did it for $70. It's still worth it. So anyways, just wanted to correct that. So, uh, shouldn't be any traffic. Uh, it's still early. It's only 11 o'clock, so should be there in about 30 minutes or less. All right, y'all. So this drive, actually, it felt like, I think it was more like 40 miles. So it was a bit of a drive. I wish I had paid attention. I didn't uh, notice the miles, so I probably would have bid it more at like $90 for this, but uh, it's still cold. Um, the 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 drive itself mileage wise is good it's just a deadhead that's what you always got to think about and um that's kind of the only thing that sucks so i, I probably could have did it for i think around 90 dollars would have been a little better but uh like i said it is my first one so just want to get it out the way 
So anyways, uh, hopefully this drop off is smooth and easy. We'll see, I think I'm going to a hospital or something. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I feel like this is gonna be a, a goose chase. But we'll see. I think this is the place. Just gotta find the address. Uh, I don't see an address. This has gotta be, uh, it's gotta be it, cause it did say it was like a little hospital looking place. So let me, uh, let me find out. All right, y'all. So I just put it on my uh, hand cart and uh, put a little bungee around it. I'm pretty confident this is the place, so. Only one way to find out. So this is a, uh, a rehab center. That's what the uh, the notes say. Hi. Hello. Uh, I'm not sure who this is for, but it's like laundry detergent. I had a name of Yvette. Does that sound familiar? Maybe. All right. Let's see. It doesn't have any instructions. It just says, uh... Okay, let me see if I can find somebody. Oh, okay. Two thousand years later. Oh, no worries. Two thousand years later. That's what um, I wanted to do with it. Okay, yeah, it's not like super heavy, so. Okay. Should be, uh, I'm not going that far. <clears throat> You sure? Yeah. I could roll it if huh? I could roll it to wherever you need to go. Oh, the laundry room? I don't know where that is. Okay, back to your back. I'll show you. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll show you. Okay. Alright. <laughs> Ham sandwich for lunch. That's that's supper. The cheeseburger. All right, thank you. I know. Feel like a heat wave back here. <laughs> oh, laundry room back here. Okay. I, so I could have just drove back here. All right. Oh, okay. Oh, no problem. I just gotta get a photo and then a signature. It'll be good to go. So you just uh, type your first and last name and signature in the box, the big box down there. I'm good to go. Hello. 
Hello. All right, thank you, sir. A little signature. Looks like we good to go. All right, we are done. Not too bad. Hey. Yeah, I don't think you're on the therapy, I'm not sure. Okay. Look, they're busy. Alright, thank you, man. We got it. Right, got it taken care of. Do I need a cold to get out or just nope, I just Oh okay. Thank you. Alright. You too. All right, man. It wasn't bad at all. Uh, just didn't know where to go. I don't know where they got that name from. They sound like nobody knew who this person was. That's on the app, but all good. About to make $70. All right, y'all. So I'm about to head back to town. Um, I actually had an airspace order that I could have did. It was going to Abilene, but uh, actually I can't do it because I got some things to take care of at home. But uh, my kids got out of school early. I didn't know. They got out of school early on Friday for Easter. And then I guess they get out early again on Monday, which I don't know why. So anyways, that kind of messed everything up. My wife's on the dealer's route. So uh, I was just going to show you guys my uh, my new D-rings. I've been putting them to use, man. They come in handy. So uh, I use this one for this hand cart. All right, y'all. So I will say, I like curry. It's OK. Uh, the details, the app is pretty easy to use. Um, obviously, I haven't, that was my first order, so it's hard to, uh, you know, do a full review on it, but uh, this order was okay. It wasn't bad. The bidding process, I do not like. I don't like the fact that you got a bid. Um, Curry, he gives it to the lowest bidder. So uh, after I put in, I put my bid in, they asked, uh, they said, uh, so far you have the lowest bid and they give it like five more minutes for somebody to underbid me. Which to me is just, I don't understand that. I was surprised to get it. I had been putting in for a couple curries the last week or two. And I never won. So I always just assume I'll never win because I'm never gonna like super underbid myself. But uh, it worked out, it was cool. So anyways, uh, hopefully curry will stay active in my area. And I'll get used to that app. So that's just another tool that I'm adding to my belt. So I've got about uh, 40 minutes to get back to town. I'm gonna continue working, but I'll probably uh, pick up the video for the next day. So just so you know, uh, today I'm already over 200. So I, uh, with the dispatch order, with this order, and then my wife has my dealer's route, I'm already over 200. So I reached my goal for today, but it's only 12 o'clock, 12.30. I'm gonna continue working for about another two hours. So, let's get it.